Well, good morning. Of course, we're out here on South Grand Boulevard where the uh, epicenter of the protests in the city of St. Louis was located generally. And uh, before I address what happened here, I want to first and foremost condemn uh, the terrible violence that occurred in Ferguson. Uh, it's unacceptable. It's wrong. Uh, the vast majority of people uh, living in our region condemn it as well. And I think the unfortunate part about it is, is what that violence does is it uh, not only puts a black eye on our community, but it sets, it really sets back uh, the cause of social justice. Uh, violence uh, doesn't solve anything, and if we're going to have real change in this community, it's going to take all of us working together and not committing violence. Now, what happened in St. In St. Louis City, uh, largely, um, largely uh, peaceful protesting, but there was some violence as well. As you can see, walking up and down the street, uh, a number of windows were broken. We had about 21 windows broken here in South Grand, about seven windows broken in other places in the city of St. Louis. There were 21 arrests, six uh, city, uh, six city um, violations, as well as about 15 felony violations. Uh, the chief's going to talk a little bit more about that. Uh, I will tell you that um, you know here on Grand Avenue, this this is a, a very good community of a lot of people who care deeply about our city, who are in investing in their community. They're, they are um, working hard to, to really bring back this area of the city. They don't deserve it. People of, of our community do, do, do not deserve uh, even this kind of violence that occurred in the city of St. Louis. Uh, I will tell you that uh, you know we're going to be prepared uh, for this evening as well.